वेलकम टू योर चिल्ड्रन स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर एट अवर स्केलेटल सिस्टम एंड द स्कीन पार्ट टू लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैड स्टडीड इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट स्केलेटल सिस्टम ऑर्गन्स फंक्शन ऑफ द ऑर्गन्स एक्सरे फंक्शन ऑफ स्कैलेटल सिस्टम द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बोन्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ बोन्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टॉपिक द स्कैलेटल सिस्टम द एक्सल स्केलेटन द अपर पेंडिकुलर स्केलेटन जॉइंट्स टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स द स्किन द फंक्शन एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्किन and melanin the skeletal system the system which give a definite shape to the body provide support and protect the delicate organs inside the body is the skeletal system the skeletal system includes all of the bones are joint in the body each bone is a complex living organ that is made up of many cells protein protein fibers and minerals the skeleton act as a scaffold by providing support and protection for the soft tissues that make up the rest of the body the skeletal system also provides attachment point for muscles to allow movements at the joints new blood cells are produced by the red bone marrow inside our bones bones act as a body warehouse The human skeletal system can be divided into two part the axial skeleton and the a perpendicular skeleton the axial skeleton consists of the skull rib cage the spine these are situated symmetrically along the central vertical axis of the body as our body grows the size and the length of our bones increases such changes in size and length can be seen in children according to the age however the body continues to grow only up to a certain limit the bones of a taller people are longer skull the skull is formed by the bones of the head and face the bones of the skull are flat and strong There are all together twenty two bones in the skull, eight in the head and fourteen in the face. Except for the lower jaw, none of the bones of the skull can move. Skull protects the brain. The skull contains twenty two bones. Cranial bones protect the brain. Facial bones give structure to the face. The skull contains mainly flat bones. rib cage the cage like structure in the chest is called the rib cage in the chest there is one vertical flat bone called the sternum 12 pairs of flat bones called ribs are joined to its sideways this 25 bones from the rib cage it is joined to the spine at the back the spine The spine is formed by padlock shaped bones placed straight one above the other there are all together 33 bones in the spine each called a vertebra these spines are arranged one above the other flexibly the spine protects the spinal cord that originates from the brain the a perpendicular skeleton The upper perpendicular skeleton is made up of bones of the upper and the lower limbs on the either side of the central axis. The human body has two arms and two legs. The different parts of the arms and legs have several bones which are connected together by joints. Do you know there are three bones in each of the ears? of this the stirrup is the smallest bone in our body it is as small as a grain of rice 
and is hollow its shape is like that of a stirrup in the human body the longest and the strongest bone is the thigh bone or the femur joints where two bone meet joints are the place where two or more than two bones are connected to each other bones of a joint are held together by strong bands of connective tissues called ligaments types of joints immovable joints cranial bone in a skull slightly movable joints vertebra bones in the rib cage freely movable joints elbow knees fingers etc joints there are two different kinds of joint movable and immovable hinge joint allow the movement of bone in only one direction this type of joint allow the movement of bones only in one direction it moves in a 180 degree angle example the elbow and knee joints ball and socket joint in this type of joint the bones can move in two or more direction in a 360 degree angle example shoulder and hip joint gliding joint in this type of joint the bones can only slide over each other example wrist and ankle joint the skin the outermost covering of the body is called skin the skin is an important and large organ of all living things there are nails on the skin at the tips of the finger and toes the skin gives a sense of touch the skin is an important sensory organ of the body the structure of the skin the human skin is made up of two main layer the outermost layer is called the epidermis and the layer below it is called dermis below the dermis there is a network of blood vessels and nerve fibers the subcutaneous layer under this network maintain normal body temperature the epidermis has various layers function of skin protecting the internal part of the body like muscles bones organ system etc help preserve the moisture in the body synthesizing vitamin d releasing sweat to regulate body temperature giving protection from the heat and cold the skin function as the sensory organ of touch melanin a pigment called melanin is present in the cells of the epidermis the melanin is synthesized in certain glands in the skin the percent of melanin decide the fairness or the darkness of the skin the color of the skin also depend on the climate it protect our skin and the inner part from ultraviolet rays it is the melanin that determines the color of our hair too jet black hair is due to pure melanin while brown lighter hair is due to sulfur in the melanin reddish hair due to iron in the melanin for the health of our skin it is important to keep it clean discriminating between people based on the skin color is unscientific and wrong in the skin there are glands which secrete sweat they are called sweat glands sweat helps to reduce the temperature of the body our, our body temperature usually remains constant at approximately 37 degree celsius what happen when we walk or play in the hot sun when we walk or play in the hot sun we get tired but at the same time our skin becomes wet this is because of sweat in the skin there are glands which secrete sweat they are called sweat glands after hard physical labor the temperature of our body rises then sweat is released it helps to reduce the temperature of the body our body temperature usually remain constant at approximately 37 degree celsius 
as we grow older the proportion of fat beneath the skin reduces however the previously taut skin does not shrink this causes wrinkle on the skin of the older people remember all the bones in the body along with the cartilage together form the skeletal system the skeletal gives shape and support to the body the outer covering of the body is called the skin the skeletal system and the skin perform the important function of protecting the body and the internal body parts we must take care of our skeletal system and skin two types of human skeletal system axial bone and a perpendicular bone the skull the rib cage the backbone and the bones of the arms and legs are the main parts of the human skeletal system epidermis and dermis are the two main layers of human skin as we had completed our lesson number 8 our skeletal system and the skin hope you all have understood it very well thank you